Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 and we are looking at a mistake. <laughs> um, I wanted to start on a new playthrough and I decided to try and get the mother of all achievement which uh, is the rarest achievement currently in Crusader Kings 3 where you need to start out as High Chiefess Daura Darama um, of the house Daura and you are the last I don't remember exactly the word for her, um, but you're basically the last of your religion, which is a female-dominated religion, as you can tell by our little daughter here being our player heiress and our sister um, potentially being another heir. And I just noticed that she is indeed a champion of our, and uh, we will absolutely uh, disallow Shatwa from fighting for us because she is not even very good at it so she will not be a soldier in our employ but she will be because she's pretty good and also fairly cheap our man who is not our man but actually our concert uh sh she will be fighting for us as well and we could get mahmoud our prisoner to be our concert so let's do it that also gives us one more man at arms. So, why is this a mistake? Because as you can see, uh, the game has progressed a little bit already. Um, this is all standard, it's Iron Man, and I just... <laughs> I fiddled around with OBS, and I set the different profile, a profile that I specifically didn't want to have any uh, shortcuts on it, so I... I didn't notice that I wasn't recording. So you're about 45 minutes, 50 minutes into the game, um, at this point, and I hope I'm not gonna forget recording again, we started out only with Daura and Katsina, and we've taken Gobir, Kebi, and Yauri, and we are currently trying to gather up enough money to form our first duchy title, because we, as a succession, have one that is a uh, dominated confederacy, or whatever it's called, it is called uh, Confederate Patrician, Partition, However, with female preference. So, uh, unless there is no woman left, no man will ever inherit here, which I like. And the goal is uh, to conquer basically all of Africa, uh, reform our faith, and turn everyone to our faith. And only now do I notice that this is actually all of Africa, is it? I mean, it's kind of deformed. It, it looks kind of deformed to me, but it's actually, I think it's actually all of Africa. I mean, we have a south coast here. So, yeah, in, in, in no, that's not all, of, that's not the south coast. That's, that's impassable terrain. This is not all of Africa. This is still primarily North Africa. Okay. All right. So that's our goal right now. We are allied to our husband over here. Uh, we have befriended this man to ho hopefully prevent him from getting any ideas. And... Besides that, we're also allied with these guys and allied with these guys over here. So we are fairly well protect protected when it comes to defense. We are not very well supported when it comes to offense because our troops are up here. I, I will just start uh, the gameplay in the background. I've made some mistakes early on. I hired a whole lot of bowmen, which then immediately got countered by uh, Kebby over here with horses and they slaughtered me to a degree where I needed to go into debt on prestige to get my husband to bail me out of that war. So you already know about my terrible uh, decision. So let us get back home. We have the diplomacy focus with the family focus and we're not very deep in and I doubt she is gonna unlock all that much in her lifetime. We are the head of our dynasty, um, meaning not much really. We are not our cultural head. Oh, actually, we are, because there is only, of the Hausa, there is just three or so, there's four, <laughs> I don't know. So we are actually our Hausa culture head as well, it seems. Yeah, definitely seems to be so. Okay, let's see, we are trying to befriend another man down here. And we will double our efforts to hopefully befriend him. The befriending scheme does come from having uh, the the right 
uh, point down here over there to befriend and we're working towards making it even more successful to get flatterer we're almost there and we are pregnant again we have already lost two pregnancies in the past and our health is merely fine which isn't terrible but just being fine is uh yeah it's, it's really not enough and how have you not become our consort yet leave prison and there we go we will also then befriend him once we're done all right so uh this southern duke down here is also our friend now which is good let's go ahead and no we're not gonna romance him We'll befriend them. 87% chance. But people who are close to you in Crusader Kings, if you've ever played it, try and make them like you. That's very important. Because if they're close to you, then they will be capable of joining plots against you, making you much more vulnerable. So we have increased the plot power for our befriend scheme, so we would probably be having an easier time of befriending people. We can also now create the Duchy of Kebi, which is very important to us for several reasons. One, it should give us another reason for war here. So we will create it. We gain 300 prestige. That is the second very important reason. And three, um, it also allows us to, if we have... Oh, we are now a mighty Magia. That's, by the way, the word I was looking for earlier. Magaya. Magia. I'm just going to say Magia for the rest of this, if I even remember. But Magaya is, is the right word. So, second is, if we have another daughter, and it might very well happen, um, then our petition uh, is going to be below the duchy level. So, unless we acquire another duchy title, our realm will not fall apart upon succession. So, as I said, with the duchy being formed, the duchy actually has this, this, and this in it. So, we should be able to, once the truce is broken, uh, go for a de jour war, which is, well, it uses a different resource and thus is kind of cheaper than the other one. So, uh, that's really good for us anyway. And eventually, we want, of course, the uh, Kingdom of Hausa as a potential title which is all of that Hauserland is what we want and we cannot create it yet because we need two duchy titles which we as i said don't hold we need one ki this here up there that belongs to us as well and it belongs to the duchy of gobier so if we get that then we can have the duchy of gobier and our duchy of kebi which will then allow us to create a uh, kingdom. So once we're ready to create the second duchy title, we also need enough gold to immediately create the kingdom title. Otherwise, on pawn succession, we will have to, you know, do war against our siblings. Um, so this early on in the game, uh, quick expansion is quite expensive for several reasons. One of them being that you need to take care of control and your troops need some replenishment and there's just a whole lot of uh, issues here that really need to be taken into account. So these fools are here now. They have some pike and some arrows and some they, they, they are really strong. They're really strong in terms of uh, men at arms. So what do they really have? They have 200 archers, they have 100 skirmish and 100 pike. So what we would need, really, to deal with something like that, we would upgrade these. Which right now we have enough prestige to kind of do that again. So let's upgrade these. Create ourselves... Oh, wow. These counter archers and heavy infantry, and they're really good in a whole bunch of things that we have around here. Um, they have pikes, so they are countered. Uh, they... Oh, no. 
Oh uh, yeah, they counter archers. So we definitely need something to counter archers. So 210 would leave us with enough to still... Uh, there's nothing to counter pike yet. So I got some of these. All right. And we are losing prestige right now because of the reinforcing of our armies. But as you can tell, to prevent us from being raided, I don't think it actually takes money out of us. We'll see once the raiding progress is done. No, they just gain 15 and the being raided kind of hurts our economy a little bit. Could raise local raiders. And return the favor. And there dangles another daughter for us. And he is a child of consort. A good house name. Aja. And we get some more prestige again. Very good. All right. Um, alliance power. We could secure an alliance over there. Uh, which kind of confuses me because that's our husband. But let's. He is also handsome, so... Let's secure this. That's very good. Let's check on him, okay? Let's see how this works. So he has one son, which is ours. And he has a whole bunch of other sons. Who is the heir here? First son. Alright, okay. So we want to keep these guys as our allies. All this here is looted. Uh, everything around you that we see right now. Oh, a call to war. I, our husband wishes us to join us to attack over there. And we will happily join with our troops here as it will bring us prestige to do so sadly I cannot touch my armies <laughs> okay we already have a hundred percent chance to get him as a friend so we're not going to invest anything into that scheme We just need to arrive a little bit and contribute something. I don't know if actually just standing on top of his army will help us with creating anything. I just put out a flag to rally on top of our headquarters, our capital, because that's where you generally need to or would like to support. Right, so we become friends with our uh, concert here. Let us go ahead and maybe seduce now. Let us befriend him as well. So he's also a spy master, so that's a good good enough reason to befriend. We are mystic. Something we should probably try and keep going is something like here. Mystical con it doesn't now, it's too expensive. We're not gonna do that. And with low control things tend to go wrong, which makes things even worse for us, so you would like to have control fairly high. One thing about a tribal situation is there's a lot of wars going on. Because you basically have a perpetual uh, claim. You just conquer, conquer, conquer. 
So that's pretty terrible. Uh, yeah. Let's redouble our efforts, gain some stress. Alright. I don't think we actually got any sort of contribution from that, did we? My war contribution. War contribution, 100%. Okay. No, it actually works. That's good. So we will get some prestige out of this war. Okay, he's seeking battle, so we will support him in that. We need to keep an eye out on where he goes. So we go with him. And he goes here. But he has already won. So the war might be ended before we ever arrive. Alright, so we have achieved 75 prestige. And we can stand our troops down. Luckily we don't have to walk them back. It's very nice. Alright, and our prestige over here is done. So we can go for our du jour war, or we can conquer for 50 piety. We could subjugate, we don't want that. 100 prestige or 50 piety. We do have more piety, so I feel like conquering would be best. So let us do that. And where's my red flag? There's my red flag. We're going to move our red flag over to here. Raise our armies here. So we can immediately jump the enemy as he gathers his troops. We are equal. Because they do counter us with their horses. Um, so these are really strong. He could... I mean, there is a potential of winning this. The numbers. This is all numbers. This is all numbers. See, and he wasn't all that badly beaten. He was beaten, but not so badly that he couldn't try and turn this around anyway. Okay, we did not end up befriending our spy master, sadly. Okay, let's check our own succession. As you can see, there is our eldest daughter, then comes our younger daughter, and then comes our sister who is securing one of those alliances that we have. I'm not entirely sure which one, but she is doing that. So, I was preaching in the episode that I didn't get to see because I forgot to record it, that it is very important for us to not overextend and not to wage too many wars at once because the control issue is a real issue. It does weaken us. It's not something you can ignore easily or something you should ignore really we have few champions can we do anything about it how much do you cost to recruit three yes you will be our champion and you could potentially also be our consort no okay we're being raided right now we can't do anything about that let's make him our consort as well And start our... Let's see, can we seduce him? Yeah, let's seduce him. So he's our lover. A lover is also fine. You don't need friends if you can also be lovers. Though I wonder, can we befriend him? No. I think this is kind of like a pyramid. You can be friends, you can be lovers, or you can be soulmates. And you can only have one soulmate, I believe. Right, so surviving in Africa is going to be a challenge all on itself, all by itself, all on its own. Takeda, wait, we're going to come for you. Don't you don't you think I'm forgetting what you're doing here? He has come raided us twice now. I don't easily forget these types of things. Oh, he took a whole bunch here. Now he just took that. He already had these three, four, I think.
Let's see if this is the win. Yeah, that's the win. Right, very good. So now we can stand these down again. Well, we could anyway. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set them to raiding and see where there are no torches. The torches on the icons tell us that they have actually been raided right recently, so there's no loot to be had there. You, my dear friend, came over to take my stuff, so we're going to come over take your stuff. Then we're going to go take their stuff, and then we're going to take someone else's stuff. I'm probably sure. Okay, we can select a best friend. Uh, he's a coward. He's a compassionate craven, which I, I think is just a better term for coward. <laughs> um, our champion, friend, and concert. Let's make it Mammut. Mammut will be our best friend. Okay, we do hold too many things. Uh, does he appreciate? Ah, he's greedy or generous. Okay, worked out. Didn't need to pay anything. Very good. Right, so we have some horse and some archers. They're still resupplying them. Uh, we could create ourselves some vassals down here. Now, do keep in mind that we hold the Duchy of Kebi, which is all this. Um, we actually do not have the Duchy of Gobir yet. Uh, because we do not hold enough de jure counties. So, we also don't hold the Duchy that is governing our own home. Because that belongs to our dear husband over there. What we could do, of course, is kill all the kids he has beside our own and i actually think we should do that ah 16 percent, 31 percent chance of Oof, that's not really good okay we could get a 10 percent chance of progress we are honest and just so no okay that's not that's fine though, should be fine. We should be able to create the kingdom still. Because we hold, if we get this as well, we hold the most bits of it and we can have two duchies without needing to deal with him. Only thing we need then is gold, which we will get through raiding. Our son Mahmoud. Very good. That means another alliance for us somewhere. We'll go by alliance power and hope there's someone young. The Shaktum of Gaza. Um, I don't know where they are. Potentially behind here. I don't know. Um, let's just keep strengthening our alliance over there with the uh, with Kano. Who will be a powerhouse like that? Chieftain of Kera. Yeah, now let's go with Kano. Let's keep doing that. Unless something much better presents itself. But no, that's fine. Okay, they are raided. So now we can go raid them. He has created himself a duchy. All right. I wish there was some information on being raided. Oh, let's take this first. Another diplomacy perk. Personal success in scheming against family members is going up. Okay, he's probably going to cast us out of his realm.
Let's keep an eye on him moving. All right, let's go here then. We'll take that. Then we're going to go here. And then we're going to go home, I think. I'm not good with raiding. We are pregnant once more. As well, we should be. We have enough men to take care of it. Have you yet not gotten pregnant, my dear sister? Big shame. Join Peasant Uprising as a defender. I will most certainly do that. Uh, down there in the south. Okay. Right, uh, how do I send them down here now without getting into battles after battles? And without dying as well. We could dip over into own territory for a moment, but I see another ally arrive there. So we do need to keep some prestige on the back burner because even calling in for a defensive war is going to cost us prestige. I don't think we are going to arrive in time. Ah, Our husband becomes our soulmate. Very good. We'll take it. Looks like they got the, the issue at hand. We sadly did not manage to get in there, but we can now raid here because he's not going to be able to raise his troops right there. He needs to raise them there. Are we raiding? I don't think we are. Okay, let's go home. Our troops are... Oh, they have 58 out of 30, 38 loot. They have the maximum amount of loot. I need to bring it back home, I think. I don't actually get it. I need to bring it home. And somehow my people are dying. Not sure how that happens. I think we have a big lack of supply. Okay, now let's let our troops replenish. Okay, now I just learned a little bit about supply. There we go. Okay, we can build something because we have money now. Uh, these are those information bits, Sim. Uh, what do we bet on? Wrathful, lustful, generous. Malicious, greedy, thoughtful, playful. Let's go for malicious. Ah. A good house name. Ali Colon. And thus, we will attempt to strengthen once more our alliance. Sis? Only oh, see counties. Which is an albino. All right, sure, why not? Stuttering albino. <laughs> okay. So, the game still doesn't inform you about uh, inheritance breaking. So she is to in uh, inherit the chiefdom of Dowry, the chiefdom of Gobir, and Yauri. And she is for Katsina, Kebi, and Sukoto. And these sons inherit nothing. So what we could do is grant her titles already. So we can give her Yauri and Sokoto. Which is fine by me. She's going to want the high chiefdom here. She's not going to get it though. But that helps us a little bit with control. 
It weakens us some. Make no mistake, it weakens us. And apparently our spy master was from there. Uh, uh, how much do you cost to recruit? Five. I am so glad that they apparently decided to just reduce this. Because that was so expensive early on. Everyone cost like 100 gold or more. So, right now, she should inherit everything and she shouldn't... Yeah, she could still inherit Kebby, that's fine. Insistent but not lie about who we are. Oh, okay, that's fine. So, we are no longer in an alliance over here, it looks like. Meaning we can go and subjugate him. It costs us 500 prestige to do that, which is way too much. 75 prestige to do that. Uh, he has way more troops. So this is um, calculating based on us asking all of our allies to join and all of our allies actually joining. So we would have to spend... 450 prestige to beat this type of army so we are definitely waiting for our own troops to go up again to replenish some uh let's check our guy here levy size garrison size and reinforcement rate plus 70 percent seven years for control we definitely need um organizing levies more than control growth Especially since control is already okay-ish over here again. All right, so we're just going to wait for our troops to replenish a bit. So let's speed this up. Hope we don't need to defend ourselves personally. Uh, garden stag. Monthly prestige. Stress gain goes down. Orchard and guest opinion. No, no. Let them roam in the gardens. All those little stags and staglets. Oh, very good. Our steward has given us gold. So with this gold, we can probably actually decide to build something. So let's see what we got. We cannot upgrade our tribal holding because we do not have the funds. Tribing, tribal holding would give us double the levy and double the garrison, double the income, more than double the income. Uh, so that would be pretty good. So let's see what else we can do for less money. Defend advantage, garrison and levies for palisades or markets, which would give us some income here for a lot less. However, it costs us prestige to build this. Upgrading this also costs us prestige. So this is very costly as an upgrade. Ah, this is this is all pretty terrible. <laughs> With the prestige cost in uh, in mind, that's a whole lot. So probably we should build something like markets. That's much more acceptable for us. Plus it also kind of doubles our income. So let's go with markets. They will pay for themselves most soon-ish. And we could build another set of market over here maybe. don't really need we could get levies but money <laughs> pregnant again uh we are closer than ever very good we have befriended our spy mistress uh who is your guardian anyway I am your guardian. Anyway. 
Good, we're still gonna wait a little bit longer to have our troops replenish. We need to take a bit of a look around here because I'm quite afraid that things go sideways for us. We do need more money. Do need more money. Let's see. All of this gives us lifestyle. We cook, we cook, we cook. She out, outwits us. It's always an option. She's deceitful, stubborn, but craven. So we will put a supple threat on her. As she is craven. Cruel, perhaps. However, it has worked. Friend her as well. Let's see. Friending him won't work all that well. But also, it's kind of big issue around here that we might want to befriend. Can't negotiate an alliance here. Why is that even an option? <laughs> He's already our friend, so no befriending there. Do not want to give a gift. Let's just befriend a bunch of dukes around here. There's, there's no harm in that. Alright. Can just free this lady here. Speaking of freeing this lady here, do we have anyone who's potentially No? No. Who are you? Adina. Come on, join me. You can be one of our champions. There we go, she's even our best champion at that. And another son. Let's see what we do with him. It's very hard to tell between these, honestly. Uh, let's get him someone halfway young. So them. Don't really know who and where they are. But it will be fine, I'm sure. We have mothered many children, giving us a plus five general opinion. General opinion, I don't think is actually opinion here. No, it is. Ah, yeah, it's not popular opinion. Each of your friend relation gives you two random skill points. Are you joking? That isn't... that's crazy good. Especially since we do have a bunch of friends already. Yes, please do tell. Um, can't befriend you. You're already my friend. Can I befriend my rival? 37% chance. Now nah, we're already befriending someone. There we go. Let's see. 25, 11, 14, 3, 15, 11. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe it's just the ones that you have at the point in time where you spend that point there. That might be. We need a new court physician and for that we will just use her. Uh, for 10 gold. 
150 gold. Yeah, that's fine. No, that's we don't need it. It's uh, we don't we don't need it. Let's befriend her though. 45% chance. That's not a lot. 100% chance. That's better. I know 100% should work out 90% of the time. So let us see what's happening around us. Might want to attack Uvari because they're pretty small and you know. Let's 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 do it. Are they currently in a war with anyone? No. It's their prime target. Let's move our red flag. And just take them. <sighs> oh, do no. No. Discipline. We need discipline. We want this up here. That's what we want. That's what we want. Okay. Alright. Good. We're almost fully up here. We're still... Levies are reinforcing at zero a month. Why is that? What's that? Because these are not my levies anymore, or how do I? How does it work? Isn't it doing levy stuff? Huh. Well, then he can go do control stuff if he's not doing levy stuff anymore. It looks like. Okay, so these are not going to go up further. We are pregnant once more. You are allied and not in a war. Who are you allied to? This guy up there. He's also my friend. It's not great. So we'll have to spend to get our allies involved in here. Because they are together, they are stronger than us. Or we go for a different uh, duchy around here. Let's see. This duchy is not a good target. This duchy is an okay target. If we don't go for the smaller one. You. You are all this. You have 1200 something. You're already at war which you're losing. So taking that... Is probably a better idea. However, we need this duchy up there. So we can get the kingdom that we want. So that doesn't really help us. So we'll have to go here. Just this little thing here. That's going to be a very bloody war. Um, of course, what we can do is we check where this alliance here comes from. And it's between... Razumata Mossi and Yama this guy. So let's see. Five percent chance to murder her. Five percent chance to murder him. That's no good. <laughs> um He's also allied to another guy now? Did he just get more alliances? Yeah, he just got more alliances. Not ideal. <sighs> Could go up here. Especially since we do seem to have claims there for some reason. So let's go there. We are the best military mind we have. 
I'm not leading, you can forget about that. Will we catch them? I don't think we will. We will probably win. It's not the ideal situation for a battle. So we are fully countering them. We are fighting in bad terrain, also fighting in bad terrain. Oh no, our champion was maimed in battle and we are being raided on top of all the terrible things. Oh, very good. Prestigious image. She will be mightily impressed by my feasts. Admired feasts, monthly prestige. Now we want the immediate prestige bonus. Thank you. Who's raiding us where? Down there, this guy. What a bore he is. So they are running south. Fine. A call to war, you want us to help you in a conquest, we will oblige. I don't know where, or against what? Over there, against that. I don't think we're gonna make it. Well, speaking of making it, I think that's a very good first episode, leaving out the things that I forgot to do in the first episode. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you around next time. Until then, bye-bye. And I will remember to record. <laughs> Yeah.